That was really out of tune. Hello, lally ho, folks. Welcome back to another Shadowbringers Final Fantasy XIV video. I've said that in the wrong order and I don't even care. It's Friday evening. It's end of term. And I've got another raid level to do. The last, I'm assuming, of the four. Oh, it's really pretty at night here. Hold on. No, that's the wrong button. Anyway. Reen. Super seismic. So we're going to face off against Titan. Or some kind of Titan in this. So are they just going to redo all the primal fights for, for kind of level 80? Because that would be quite cool. And I bet you some people will say, oh, that's really lazy. Rehashed ideas. I think this proves that the water aspect of the ether is no longer lying dormant. So which element should we realign next, do we, Ange? I propose Earth. Should we succeed in returning the soil's life-giving energy, the empty shall become capable of supporting the growth of flora. Imagine that. Forests in the empty. But before we begin, I'd like to know how that girl is doing. Still sound asleep. She didn't so much as stir even when I took her helmet off. I thought it might be getting a bit stuffy in there and I was curious to know what sort of person we're dealing with. She seems surprisingly normal. Not at all like her usual void sense. I'd say she's about the same age as you, Reen. Perhaps a little older. Wait, what? She was way tall. Well, whoever she is, we should let her rest while we concentrate on the task at hand. The mystery. As much as I'd love to go with you, I'd best stay here in case she wakes up and is feeling less than cooperative. Are we going to come back at the end of these four raid tier uh, raid levels and have some kind of issue? And while I wait here wishing I had something to read, my thoughts were with you as you fly off to face the next opponents. It must be a strange feeling to bring something into existence through your own willpower, only to slay it immediately after. I almost feel sorry for the poor things. All the same, I wish you luck. Hmm. If all goes well, he won't be waiting for long. The sooner we get this over with, the sooner we can see the results. Nod. Okay, back to the core. Now, there's going to be three sets of raid tiers, so there's going to be 12 in total. There are six ether aspects. We've got Ifrit, Leviathan, Garuda, Shiva, Ramu, or Rama, and... Uh, <laughs> Who have I forgotten? Who have I forgotten, damn it? Ice, lightning, water, fire. Oh, that's all six. Just can't count, can I? Uh, yeah, anyway. Once more into the empty, dear friend. Hey, you're cool. You look kind of familiar. You look taller than me. You've got maximum height, bunny. Not as pale as me, though. But with very similar hair. In fact, identical hair. Oh, no, you've gone for the one that doesn't have the bangs up front. Anyway, sorry. Distracted. Once again. Now, before we embark on our journey, there's one question I feel I should ask. Where are we going? I would suggest a certain region that lieth north north east I would suggest a certain region that lieth east of North Rant, which was once home to Great Mount Atlas. And for the Earth aspect of Primal we wish to invoke what could be a more fitting choice than Titan. I don't think I've heard of that one. What's it like? Um The landslides. The landslides! <laughs> it seems like you've had a rather traumatic experience. Yes. Yes, you could say that. 
But if our battle is anything to go by, this one will be different from the Titan that Demogen remembers, yes? One can only hope. Ah, it would be wise to consider the two as entirely separate beings. As such, thou must need to conceive new stratagems if thou art to triumph in the battle to come. Past experiences will avail thee naught, I fear. All right, Demogen. Once you're ready, we'll be on our way. Nod. It took a while, but we finally arrived. Uh-oh. That didn't sound good. Ready, Demogen? Oh, is that just a stopping? Titan. Titan. Landslides. Jails. Members of Titan came tumbling back. Sepulcher. A duty finder has been updated with a new regular duty. That's the wrong button. Uh... Sepulcher. Hmm. That did not take very long at all. Ba -ba -bum 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 -ba -bum. What? This doesn't look like Titan. Hi, folks. First time here. Is everybody ready? Because I'm going to tank this bitch. It's a very hard fight, I warn you. Can't tell if he's being facetious or not. Voice of the land. Uh... So far, so good. That's a tank buster. Oh, that gave me a run stack. Oh, those are boulders. I could do with some healing. No? No healing. I mean, it, it's going to be hard. So do we need a tank swap? Just wipe it. Why why is he got a Oh 
Oh, the one if you don't know how to avoid things. See, that's not too difficult to avoid. Right, so that we, the seismic wave we need to uh, hide behind the boulders for. And that's a big old uh, jump. Massive landslide. Oh no! Bomb boulders! I'm not standing next to that! I've got a lot of vulnerability! What the? He's... What? Oh. A little bit of indication that that was going to happen would be nice. Right, this used to work. Right. Yeah, there's a lot of big kind of raid-wide AoE explosions. Lots of big AoEs on this one. Savage mode is going to be so fun.
Yeah, that that's a lot of raid wide damage. Raid wide damage. So that moves outwards in a concentric grid. I don't think I can escape that. Okay, got that mechanic down, kind of. Yeah. I can't remember what this one did. Oh, yeah. Don't stand in that. So, massive landslide is a column straight in front of him. Ah, bomb boulders. Yeah, okay. I'm trusting the uh the number one guy. Right, this was the car, which we didn't want to be standing in front of. Yeah, didn't quite get the mechanic for that one. Filthy. Earthy residue is causing damage over time. On boulders. Oh, that still caught me. Oh, that's... Damn it. Yeah, I've got too many Vuln stacks. Oh, he's going for another one. Oh, and another. Whew. 
This is a much more challenging fight than Leviathan was. Oh, great. And number one, guys, do you see it? So there goes our... Uh... You get to tank, mate, while my weakness wears off. Uh, which one's he doing? There's a lot of dodging involved in this fight, and I'm really liking it. This is Earth and Fury. Yeah, I think you need a tank swap in this. Oh, shit. So, not safe between those, then. The, uh... Ouch! Seismic wave. Ah, it's both the healers down. And that's... Ah, uh... oh, this is a really long fight as well. Yeah, we'd have got that if the, uh, the guy hadn't DC'd.
Yeah, the, the thing is, the, the outgoing damage is quite high and you need to be on top of your positionals. No. Yeah, we should just wipe this. got too much dps down so mind you good experience oh that goes through tempered well right we need to be on this side for this Gotcha. Won't necessarily remember how to do it the next time, but got you for that one. Evil Earth? What was Evil Earth? Seismic wave! I'm really having to concentrate here. Oh! Vum vum vum! Oh shit. That was my fault. I wasn't expecting him to do another. There's an awful lot on the healers on this fight.
We're safe here. Yeah, the healers are doing sterling work here. This this must be a horrible fight to heal. Oh, I was a little bit too close to her. Uh... Right, want to be... standing with everybody else I'm sorry I don't understand that mechanic at all Oops. Yeah, this is a harsh fight. Not only is it harsh, but it's really long as well. Right, so yeah, he's going to turn around and do another one. And again? Yeah. Oh, man, this is long and... Oh, shit.
use um limit break healer limit break Yeah, I kind of feel like I would dance there. I kind of feel like this isn't quite tuned right. Uh, what? The dancer just joined and immediately pulled the mob. Did you click to focus target? Right click, I suspect. Let's see who's here. I think the black mage went to get a drink. You know, I quite like this music, but maybe not this long. <laughs> I must remember to edit out all these names as well. Probably put it behind my head and then you can't see it. Right, we're all ready. Let's go. Evil Earth. Gotta to remember to keep Dark Side up. Crumbling down was that. Oh. Right. I, I, uh. I don't get why that's hitting me.
Okay, so I've got this mechanic down at least. And he only does it once to start off with. That's his tank buster. Yep. Right, bomb boulders. Uh, still managed to hit me. I thought I was out of that, but... Uh, right, this is his double AoE impact, which is going that way. And seismic wave stack. Okay. That hurts a lot more with uh right, car mode. Well, never did I think that I would have to uh, watch out for something I was going to call car mode. Right, he's still in car mode. And still in car mode. That was unfortunate. The dance just... Uh... Does that have an AOE component? Yeah, that was awkward. Right, half health. Tank Buster. Uh, landslide mode. Oh, I'm going to stack with everybody else. I'm an idiot. I see what he's doing now.
Ah, that really hurts. That's a horrible AOE. Especially because it puts a dot on us. Right, bomb boulders. I can't help you with that, guys. I am sorry. Uh, this is his double. And it's going to go into seismic wave. Uh, that's the tank buster. Geo crush. Car form? Car form. Right, as long as they don't change the mechanics. Itchy face. Yeah, you don't get a lot of... You don't actually get a lot of time on the boss, I think, which is why this fight takes so long. Um, is it going to do another fault though? No, it's not. What's it going to do? He's going to tank buster me. I'm fine with that. And the bum boulders. Oh, balls. It's looking good. People have learned. And I love learning. <laughs> Let's not screw it up right at the last second. Uh... Oh. Not this time. Good job, all. Yeah. I think the guy that left was the weakest link. <laughs> I guess savage mode is going to be fun. Yes. Yes, it is. Oh. I re I actually really enjoyed that fight. It's it's taken us fifty five minutes. Yeah, the Black Mage has really struggled with that. Uh, clearly. Right. Don't really care which of these I get, as long as I get one of them. <gasps> I got the minion! I want to got a blade.
Where is it? Oh, I can't summon a minion here. I assume the minion is separate. Yeah. So we've got two trousers, two uh, two armor pieces. Yeah, I actually really enjoyed that fight. Um, it was hard and it was long. But, hard and long. <laughs> but it was actually really, really nice design. And once you got the mechanics down, actually, apart from a couple of niggles uh, in terms of the the area of effect of the, the bombs exploding, actually, it was a really good remix of the mechanics from the previous primal titan fights um took me a while though to figure out what was going on with that massive landslide um because i saw the blue and thought why why are people standing in that and i realized that actually it's the things down the side first and then the center well thought damage and well thought indeed that they were able to triumph over this avatar of primordial rage is testament to thy presence yes welcome back you must be exhausted a creature made of rock. He was a lot more agile than I was expecting. Yeah, he could turn into a car. I wonder where we came up with the idea for that one from. I suppose the... The the hexadrone enemies in Gimlet Dark and so on and so forth. I wonder, was the Titan of your world a tough opponent too? Yes, if I put one foot wrong, I would have fallen to my doom. So, all it would have taken is a momentary lapse of concentration. I don't like the sound of that. But more importantly, you've defeated another elemental being, which means we're a step closer to reclaiming the empty. I can't wait to see how much of a difference we've made this time. So, did we really do all of this? What's happened? Ah, the land is now landy. Ah, it would appear that balance has returned to the element of Earth. And yet... Transformation, transformation hath only affected only the immediate... No. The transformation hath only affected... The immediate vicinity, whereas the lands beyond this lake doth remain unchanged. It is passing strange indeed. Did we do something wrong? Though this falleth short of the outcome I had envisaged, tis plain our efforts were not in vain. Mayhap this localised phenomenon is the result of an intersection of ethereal currents. Therefore, it is reasonable to assume that similar locations in the empty hath undergone comparable alterations. Then the ether will spread out from these points to cover the rest of... Uh-oh. Oof. Uh-oh. Bean? Something hath befallen the girl. Is controlling Eden taking a toll on her? Oh, there's more quests. I thought we were done. Perhaps exerting her will over Eden hath taken its toll. The next piece of the puzzle. Might as well keep on with this. Maybe she's just tired and needs a three-month rest. It's... it's nothing. Not nothing. That didn't look like nothing to me. You'd better lie down for a while. No, really, I'm fine. Anyway, we've still got work to do. 
Nay, thank it hath the light of it. Would be unwise to ex excuse me. It would be unwise to exert thyself over much. I appreciate your concern, but I do wish you'd stop fussing. Queen, thou knowest not the strain thou dost place on thyself. Though the elements of water and earth hath been restored, continued exposure to the empty stagnant ether may yet sap thee of thy remaining strength. Now that you mention it, I've been feeling a bit out of sorts ever since we got here. You don't want to piss away Minfilia's legacy. I should probably get away from the empty and rest for a while. They do so. Meanwhile, I shall remain here. The restoration of the first two elements have produced unexpected results and I require time to analyse our findings. However, I must ask thee to refrain from discussing our work in the empty even with our closest comrades. Why? I thought they'd welcome the news. And indeed they shall, once we have more to show for our efforts. Nevertheless, this mission is one of surpassing danger. I am loath to place our dearest friends at risk unless absolutely necessary. So this is why Urian, Jai, Thanquid and Reen aren't found in the ongoing world. You have their best interests at heart, I'm sure, but to be perfectly honest, I'd prefer not to keep secrets from people that I trust with my life. I don't want to make a habit of this, but I'll do as you ask. Reen is sensible. She's perhaps the only sensible character. It is the secrets that people keep from each other that... It Espouses the horrible drama that we sometimes get in storytelling. It seems to me that Reen isn't the only one who would benefit from a change of scenery. Our Sleeping Beauty would fare, likely fare better in more hospitable surroundings. We need to have, you, have our associate from the Christarium organise a safe place for her to stay. If you and Demogen can go on ahead and have a word with him in Mord Souk, we'll catch up with you once Uriah show's finished. Whatever it is he needs to do. <laughs> Perhaps there too should accompany her on the return journey. I dare say she would be glad of thy presence. No, not this time. She's come such a long way since we first met, and I worry that relying on me too much will only hold her back. We won't be staying on the first forever. The time will come for Rhea and I to part ways and for her to follow her own path. I know you understand this too, Rianche. I see you trying to pass on as much of your knowledge as possible while you still can, and to her credit, she's actually taking most of it in. <laughs> Rian is possessed of a natural affinity for etherology, unlike some who shall remain unnamed. A natural affinity for staying awake during your lectures, most like. Though, come to think of it, she doesn't really take after me at all. However, like thee, she is predisposed to brooding in silence in lieu of voicing her concerns. Says the master of keeping his cards close to his chest. Anyway, Demogen, you'd better take the sky slip of the reading. Uh, it's true that she's been through a lot lately, but so have you. We'll need you ready for the challenges that lie ahead, so go on and get some rest. And we're not going to see the... We shall await news of thy safe arrival in Amaran. Uh. We'll have to decide whether it's worth posting Christian guards to watch over Eden while we're gone. As there is little to this our camp being ransacked, it may be left unattended in our absence. Yeah, there's not really much here. Not entirely sure why there's a fire pit, for example. Bean. It seems like you're all having quite a serious discussion. I hope I haven't given you any cause for concern. Nah. Well, if you say so. I probably shouldn't stay in the empty any longer than necessary, though, so do you want to take that first shift piloting, or shall I? Mana slip a mount, please? Ba, 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 ba. Phew. Glad I had you there to keep me company. I've no idea how I would have passed the time otherwise. Now that we're here, I need to find a contact from the Crystarium.
But before that, I was hoping I could have a word with you. Something's been on my mind. Oh. This might not be the best place for it, though. Those creatures over there look a bit hungry. Ah! Back to Minfilia's wall. When I first spoke to Thancred and Uyanje about what I'd sensed in the empty, part of me wished we could have just left it alone. I guess I was scared of what we'd find. But now that we've found Eden, I know that I made the right choice. And if I'd given in to my fear, I probably would have spent the rest of my life wondering what might have been. From now on, whenever I hear that voice inside me telling me to run away, to hide, I won't listen. That's not who I am anymore. Even so, all the courage in the world is not going to help me decide what we should do with that girl when she wakes up. Do you remember what she said right before she passed out? Why am I here? What is happening? What if she's been controlled or forced to act against her will? Whatever the case, it's clear that she's not a monster, she's a person like you or me. Obviously she knows something about Eden, and we need all the information we can get. But more than that, I just want to talk to her, and find out who she is and if there's anything we can do to help her. On the other hand, we mustn't forget that she's already attacked us once. What's to say she won't try it again when she wakes up? If she keeps us from reclaiming the empty, it will be all my fault. It's no good, I can't make up my mind. What do you think we should do? Even Emmett Selk had his reasons. We should at least hear her out. I see what you mean. Perhaps if we'd been able to come to an understanding, things wouldn't have ended the way they did. I hope that she's nothing like MXL, but we won't know until we speak to her. Until then, I'll try to concentrate on the here and now. Speaking of which, I still need to see to Uyanger's errands. The person we're on our way to meet lent us the Skyslipper and most of the apparatus we've been using, and since we've been sworn to secrecy, I assume the same applies to him and his colleagues. Anyway, once that's over with, we can find a place to relax. Where is this person? Where have we put her? And who is she? Now that, I'm, now that we're here, allow me to introduce you to two members of our inner circle, or whatever you want to call it. Hi. That's Ghoul Ghoul, who's interested in trading for any relics we find in the empty. Apparently he deals mostly in exotic weapons and whatnot, but he's agreed to keep us supplied with whatever else we can't get from the Crystarium. Now, the one we came to meet should be around here somewhere. Ah, Reen, what a relief it is to see you've returned an arm from your expedition. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. We've gone a little bit longer than expected. Demogen, I'd like you to meet Louis. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. As representative of the Settlement Council, I'm here to oversee the delivery of equipment deemed necessary to your mission. I'll be on hand to provide any assistance you may require. Actually, there's something we'd like you to take care of. It's probably best not to talk about it in the middle of talk about it in the middle of the market, though. I'll take it from here, Demogen. You should get some rest. But before you go, I'd like to thank you for everything you've done. We still have a long road ahead of us, but if we give it our all, there's nothing we can't handle. Uh, 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 tenacity. Ah, ba ba. Ending cutscene, or is that it? Little bit of a teaser for next time. 
Something's going to happen here while they're watching. Or they're not watching. I see. Though it is mere supposition, it would behoove us to proceed with caution. Moreover, I would refrain from discussing the matter with Veen and Demogen until we know more. Well, I appreciate you telling me, even if it is too soon to be sure. I'm the one watching over her, after all. Oh, the mysterious person is still in the tent. The Oracle... Oh! The Oracle of Darkness. I pray it is not true. Ah. Oop. Bye, Reen. So, the Balancing Force, Oracle of Darkness. Right, let's see, just to wrap up this video, what the gear looks like. The headpiece looks as expected. But obviously, I've seen these in um, the patch notes page. But, to be honest, that's actually a pretty nice set of armor. It's not diable, however. And as a, uh, a, a Dark Knight, I'm not entirely sure it's the best look. It is a good chunk more stats, though. Extra 50 defense, 40-ish strength. Yeah quite a lot also lightweight tombstones i'm assuming that is for yeah we've got accessories and stuff as well let's uh see what the scholar gear looks like oh the scholar gear has actually got a viewable headpiece uh half yeah, gloves of healing. Pantaloons of healing. Uh, sandals of healing. Yeah, so quite a light kind of feathery look, as you might expect. I'm assuming then that the... Oh, interesting. The, uh, the caster version is actually different. So yeah, we need four. We've got two. But next week, I should have enough for the, the pants and the... Where do we get the weapons from then? I assume that will be... So we need seven blades. So we need seven weeks worth of raids for a single lightweight tombstone. And what do we do with that? Uh, let's just take a quick port over to Yulemore. As it is possible that it's from the, um, the other vendor there. Or it might just not be in the game yet. Probably should have checked. And merchants. Yeah, so that's the Eden Relic Exchanger. Same stuff? Yeah. Yeah. So nothing... Nothing as of yet that we can do with the blade. So I'm assuming that will be... Something that will be coming maybe with the savage, savage Raids or something like that. Um, it's most likely that they will... The weapons will require something from the Savage Raids. Which will mean that I'll never get them because I'm not going to be doing Savage. 
Um, I never do the savage raids. Um, I'm I'm just I'm not good enough at the game. I'm not particularly interested in the stress, especially as a tank or a healer, which are the two uh, two roles that I play. Either way, that was the 5.01 Eden raid. Really impressed with that. Really impressed with all four of the fights that we've done. Um, the fourth one was definitely the hardest to get the mechanics down for. But I suspect once you've got them, you won't have as many problems afterwards. It's just quite a lot to take in at once. I think the Leviathan fight was probably the easiest. Um, with Eden Prime being second easiest. I forgot what the third one was. Oh yeah, the uh, the Void Walker. All in all, though, really impressed with that. Quite interested in the story and where the story is going, and and that's why I'm playing this. So maybe unlike Omega, where I literally did the Delta Scape near release and then left it, um, I'm 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 invested in the story for this. So we'll see where it goes and how we get on. Hopefully, you will join me for that in a few months' time when the next portion of the raid comes out. There will be more content coming for Shadowbringers after this is uh, after this is done. Though I've got some other videos in the pipeline for that, which hopefully you will enjoy watching as much as I enjoy creating them. Until that time, cheerio. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button and subscribe. Remember to ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, toodle pip.